When part of a tunnel storing radioactive waste at the Hanford Nuclear Reservation was found caved in this spring, the world took notice. How did this happen? During the Cold War, Hanford's plutonium finishing plant had one job, pump out concentrated plutonium for bombs. As equipment in the plant wore out, workers stored it in tunnels nearby. It was too radioactive and too bulky to do anything else. Tunnel 1 was built out of concrete and timbers lined with big rolls of asphalt-coated roofing and topped with desert sand. They filled it by 1965. And the tunnel held fast until, well, this happened. The Department of Energy says several factors could have led to the tunnel's collapse. The radiation inside the tunnel could have weakened those timbers. The tunnel could just be too old. And this year's very wet winter and spring could have made the soil above the tunnel too heavy. Officials worry a further collapse could send up a plume of radioactive dust. So the feds threw a tarp over the hole. And soon, contractors will inject hundreds of truckloads of grout to fill the tunnel up one layer at a time. This isn't a long-term solution, but officials say it will keep the radioactive contamination in place and keep the tunnel from collapsing again. The collapse at Tunnel 1 was a surprise, but Tunnel 1 is just one of several thousand aging waste sites at Hanford, some of which are only monitored every 10 years. With all that aging stuff and hazardous waste, it's likely this won't be the last emergency at Hanford. <laughs>